sorry, it's this one here, sorry. Uh, we need to raise this up here so it basically covers the entire scene. Okay. Let's render that again. There you go. And now you can see where the where the uh, the beam is cast in the light. You can see where the fall off is. You know. Uh, so if I if I if I change the uh, the outer outer one, oh, I keep selecting the wrong one. Um, okay. I haven't moved the uh, the inner the inner uh, beam, but the outer one's been moved. You'll see that there's a lot more fall off when I render this out. As you can see, you can now see the edges of the plane. Um, and yeah, like I say, the shadow parameters are still the same. You can lower. Um, you can lower the uh, the density of that. Okay, so that's the uh, the direct uh, light as well. It's pretty similar to the uh, spotlight, but like I say, it has a few different uh, parameters and a few other things that you can mess around with. Okay, and um, let's delete that. Now we have my favourite light, the Omni. Now this is this is one light. You click this in. And this sends out global illumination everywhere. Not like the um, the skylight. This will just throw out illumination everywhere. It's, there's not a select point where it will send it out. It just throws it light out in all directions. Now, obviously, let me just turn on the the, uh, the shadows there and render this out. And as you can see, um, as as the light is just above uh, the ground here, there's a quite a strong powerful bit of um, light there and it fades out over over distance as you can see okay and uh, yep you can change the intensity to make it more powerful uh, you can change the direction if I just move it on top of the box okay now I'll render this out and there you go okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the uh, the shadow parameters density a little bit, I'm going to bring it down to 0.7 ok, now here's something interesting what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the Omni inside the uh, inside the box here, so if I just zoom right in, and I'm going to bring it inside the box and I'll show you something interesting alright, as you can see it's inside the box now, and it's only casting light from inside the box and if I render this There you go. You've got a lit up box and the shadows either side, because because of these walls either side, this section here and this section here is not receiving any light, so it's casting a shadow. But here's something even more interesting that I found with uh, Omni that's come in useful quite often. Rather than sending light out um, in a great distance, what you can do is select, use the far attenuation, both of these, and we have the same kind of thing that we had with uh, the mental ray light. As you can see with the outer box here, uh, sorry, outer ring here, that's that's the uh, distance that the light is travelling, and the inside uh, ring is uh, the light at its most powerful. So if I bring down the outer, so it's right down here, zoom in, and bring the inner light in, and bring the outer one down a little bit more only the inside of this box is going to be illuminated now everything outside the box actually if I just bring that down a little bit more there we go anything outside the box is not going to be illuminated so if I just render this as you can see there's not very much going on outside because only the inside of it is illuminated there okay so if I just bring a, a skylight into this uh, not skylight a spotlight sorry target spotlight and bring this into the scene. Okay. Um, oh, we're going to need to bring this down a little bit because it's a bit too high up. As you can see, the spotlight can be um, edited as well, the same way as everything else, with uh, how far the beam shoots out. But it's too far out at the moment, so I need to bring it right in. And this one too. Um, okay. I'm going to bring the intensity down to 0.7 and now if I render it out again um, you'll see that only the inside of the box is being illuminated by the Omni but the um, the target spotlight is illuminating the rest of the scene and there you have it okay, oh, it would help if I turn the shadows on, let's try that one again and make sure that the uh, Omni's shadows are on too yep they're on, okay, let's render this again and there you have it <laughs> Okay. So again with the Omni, if I bring out this a bit more 
and there we go let's render this out a bit more you can see more of the box has been uh, illuminated by the um, by the beams here and uh, that's basically the uh, the illumination tutorial really I mean other than that what I can say is that lights can be animated just like everything else can so for instance as you can see the mul multiply here if I just set it to 1 at frame 0 if we turn on auto key uh, I always set a key first and then scrub along to 50 and then I'll bring this all the way down to, to 0 oh. As you can see, it's on auto key, so key's been set, and then I bring this up to 100 again. I put it back to one. Now, what's happened is you um, are chain, are you tur you're turning the light on and off. So if I scrub back, keep an eye on here. You'll see that this changes through, through time. There you go. It's set at full, and it goes down to zero, and back up to one again. And you can also see in the perspective here. Um, that it also shows that it's getting brighter and darker as the light changes. Okay, so for instance, at frame one or frame zero, we have that there. But if we go closer to the uh, the second keyframe and render it again, you can see it's much darker now because the light's turning off. And go to 55 where the, where the light's completely off and you've got no illumination in there at all. We go back to 100 and it's set to 1.0 again. So yeah, that's how you animate lights. So um, basically that is the tutorial. Uh, my name's Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com I do hope this uh, basic lighting and shadow tutorial has been useful and you now know a little bit more about what lights do and how to use them and I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.